All right, so here's a quick overview on the Modern Electronics digital back gauge system. For uh, here, we're using it on this LVD shear. The old back gauge wasn't working. Well, the back gauge was working, but the digital readout wasn't working. So we went to Modern Electronics and purchased their Digit 2000. And this is this is what it is. So you come with uh, comes with this counter here, digital counter. This might be flashing in the video because the the counter is the same frequency as the camera, but it's solid red. It's not flashing in person. You can have a fractional. It also shows uh, decimal in inches. Well, that's that's millimeter. You have your millimeter. And uh, your your decimal in inches. So this is the counter that comes with it. Okay, so this here is how the uh, the back gauge is measured. You have this encoder connected to this cable, this long cable here. Our our model goes up to 50 inches, but they make them much larger than that. I think up to 120 inches. So what we did is we made a bracket that mounts on to the back gauge here and the cable is connected to that uh, that back gauge. We have better pictures in the listing if you want to take some take a look at the pictures we put up. So that's that's how it works. When the back gauge moves in the cable uh, gets longer and when it moves out the cable gets shorter and it tells the encoder where you're positioned. So it comes with all the wires. You can see we ran the wires up to the uh, to the counter and then we have the power actually hardwired into the machine so you don't have to use a uh, an extension cord because the uh, the counter is 110 volt all right so the first thing we have to do you start up the machine we need to we need to calibrate the back gauge we need to find where it's cutting and set the back gauge with the plus or minus you can move the measurement. This isn't moving the back gauge, it's just moving, say, if the back gauge, if I know it's at five inches, I can set this to five inches. And then when I bring it down to two, three, or even a foot, it should be at that measurement. So that's the first step. I'm going to make a sample cut, I'm going to measure it. Whatever that measurement is, I'm going to set the digital readout to that measurement. That's pretty much calibrating it. So fire up the shear. Run it out. Right, you grab that piece of measure. Alright, so this is the piece that we just cut. We measure it. Actually, it's like seven, seven and a quarter inches. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the back gauge to seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. Okay, so now let's say I want to cut a 12 inch piece. It should be set, so all I have to do is run the back gauge out to 12 inches and it'll cut a 12 inch piece. So now we're set at 12. Push this down, I'm going to cut it on this side here. Alright, push here. Alright, so this is the part, and this should be a 12 inch part. Right on the money, 12 inches. 